Okay, I wanted to talk about a little RFID unit that we got in a SunFounder kit that we're using in a computer controlled machinery class. And um, the code that came with it was pretty hard to follow and try to do too many things. So I really wanted to just kind of keep this simple uh, and, and come up with some uh, ideas we could use this for. So the way this code works that I've uh, come up with, and I'll show you the code here in a minute, is um, it allows you to identify an RFID tag. And I've currently got the unit program to identify this particular tag. So when I get it close, it LED stays on for about a second and goes back out. If it detects a bad card or a bad RFID tag, then it blinks. And you could have it do any number of things, have a red LED come on instead of blinking the green LED really fast when it detects the wrong card. And all it's really doing is reading a five-digit number from each tag. And these numbers can be up to 255. So you can imagine how many combinations you can have for these if, for instance, you can go from 0000, 000 to 255, 255, 255, 255, 255. So you can have a large number of unique IDs with this particular type of RFID. And there are lots of different RFID standards. Um, and this one's called MyFair. So once again, a good tag and a bad tag. And so the RFID transmitter right here is connected to the Arduino using SPI, which is a serial peripheral interface. Um, another method of connecting devices like this is uh, through I squared C. And we'll look at these uh, protocols later, these standards for sending uh, serial data later. This is a nice standard because it's uh, what we call synchronous, which means that um, it's very much unlike standard serial in that the data is sent synchronously and it can be sent really, really quickly. So we'll get into that later. Um, I'll show you the connections here and I'll show you the code. Here's a close-up of the Arduino and the uh, LED that's currently hooked to um, one of the output pins, and I'll show that in the, uh, the diagram. Um, you need quite a few conductors to run signals to the RFID unit. In fact, I have eight wires going to the RF RFID unit. One of them I'm not using right now. It's an interrupt connection that um, I'm not using currently, but I might use later. So really, we have seven active wires going to this unit. Two of them are for power, and the remaining five are for signals. Here's the code I used to uh, read the RFID card and sound the alarm. And what you have to do initially is include the uh, SPI library and the RFID library. And that's available um, in the information at the top of the code and comments. The way this code works is um, initially I just monitored to see what I was getting when I did a RFID read. So there are actually a couple of methods here for the RFID object. Um, the first one is you can check to see is there a card. And so if the system detects a card, then you can do a serial read of the card. And it will read each of the numbers, each of the five numbers in the card. These are the ID numbers. And in this particular case for my card, they were 89, 216, 
213, 229, and 177 for this particular card. Every card is unique, so you're going to have to read the card initially to get these numbers out of it. You won't know what they are until you do a read. So I wrote some code that's at the bottom here um, that's only for doing that. So this particular uh, section of code here where I'm doing these uh, serial prints is really just to identify the numbers associated with a particular card. These are the ID numbers for the card. And this code is really not even necessary. Once you've got the card number, you can comment that code out. Um, or you can remove it. Um, or you might even um, even better put it into another uh, sketch so you can just pull that up to read the card and then pull that sketch up to read your card and then go on and, uh, and write your code for driving your output or wherever you're going to drive. You know, you could drive a lock. Um, I'm just driving an LED, but you could drive a uh, some sort of a solenoid operated lock or um, a servo motor, anything you want to drive. The LED is just to show the the um, the possibilities. So when this uh, reads, and for my particular code here, um, if it finds a match for the numbers then it uh, basically makes uh, the output pin high, which is my LED, and keeps it on for one second. Um, so there's a little one second delay there. Otherwise, if it doesn't match, it blinks the LED five times rapidly in 100 millisecond intervals. Um, so there's a little for loop there that lets it blink really fast to let you know it's, it's a bad card. You could also use that code to um, send an output to a red LED if you wanted to, or um, to another output port. And my current output port is uh, pin 9, because uh, pin 13 was taken by the RFID card. So this is it. There's not much uh, code here. At the very bottom, we, uh, we just make sure that we set the output pin back low again and then uh, we halt the RFID um, until another card gets close. As I said before, do not hook VCC on your RFID card to 5 volts or you can say goodbye to your RFID card. Thanks. Talk to you later.